Hurricane Isil heads to Hawaii, tailed by Tropical Storm Julio. Hurricane Isil barreled towards Hawaii early Tuesday, with forecasters warning that the islands could face a one-two bunch as Tropical Storm Julio is trailing not far behind. In 75 years of reliable data you only have one case where they were even 10 days apart, he said. And for Hawaii to be facing to space just two to three days apart. This is unprecedented in the satellite era, Roth added. The National Hurricane Service said that after briefly slowing down, ISIL is expected to pick up speed and move faster towards Hawaii's islands on Tuesday and Wednesday. After forming as a tropical storm last week, ISIL picked up strength to gain hurricane status on Friday and has built from there, according to the Weather Channel. ISIL now a Category 4 hurricane packing estimated winds of up to 140 miles per hour could weaken towards the end of the week according to the Weather Channel, and hit Hawaii's islands as a large tropical storm. Swells are expected to start affecting coastlines on Wednesday and build from there, the Weather Channel reported. The weather should start going downhill Thursday morning for the Big Island, according to Roth. He said the worst weather island west of it, including Oahu and the capital city Honolulu will be Thursday night into Friday morning. Tropical Storm Julio is moving quickly west and trailing behind ISIL, according to the National Hurricane Service. It is extremely rare to have such major storms in such quick succession, according to Weather Channel lead meteorologist Kevin Roth. He said the most recent example was in 1982 when two significantly weaker tropical storms and depressions hit 10 days apart. Two storms are headed for Hawaii later this week and an unusual one-two bunch that could be ineffective in developing El Nino pattern, the National Weather Service said. The National Hurricane Center in Miami issued advisories Tuesday for Hurricane Isil and Tropical Storm Julio. Isil could be hitting Hawaii by Friday and Julio two or three days after that, said James Franklin, the chief of hurricane specialists. There's enough uncertainty in the track that it's too soon to chalk specific impacts, Franklin said. Isil is expected to weaken. Right now it's a major hurricane but it will not be able to maintain that strength, he said. But it still could be at or near hurricane strength. The outlook for Julio is more uncertain. The Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu is taking over responsibility and would issue any hurricane watches or warnings. Two big storms so close together in the eastern Pacific are rare but not unexpected in years with a developing El Nino a change in ocean temperature that affects weather around the world. It's certainly pretty rare, Franklin said. The Central Pacific doesn't see nearly the activity that the Atlantic sees. When an El Nino develops, those are the kinds of years you see more activity, he said. You get more activity so the risk of impact goes up in El Nino years, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.